Okay, I just wanted to thank everybody for being here tonight. As you know, uh, Mr. Kiley was very active in the troop in, in, um, for many years. Before we get started with tonight's program, I'd like to introduce some people. Um, first of all, Tom's wife, Lynn. You might have to come forward, they can't see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, um, Tom's son, Phil Kiley, and his wife, Tammy. And we also have Father Kevin from St. Rita's who's here with us tonight and will do uh, part of the ceremony tonight. The search idea began over a year ago and things were picked up earlier this spring. We came upon a lot of cool ideas with assistance of a lot of people. At about the same time we lost one of our great scouters, Mr. Tom Kiley. As we tried as a troop to come up with something to memorialize Mr. Kiley for all his work over many years, too many hours to count, and starting much earlier than many people realize, and that is how we arrived at today. Maybe now is a good time to fill you in on some of the details many of you don't know about Mr. Kiley. Mr. Kiley became involved in scouting as a youth, as many of you are here standing here tonight. Mr. Kiley really enjoyed scouting and worked hard to deliver newspapers on his bike. Those were things you actually took to people's houses. <laughs> <laughs> to earn money to attend camp. After attending a few years, he became involved in camp staff. Now most of you might be thinking of Camp Lyle or Camp Otakota, but in those days, those camps weren't around. At that time, Racine and Kenosha had separate councils, and the summer camp of Racine Council was Pleasant Lake, located about 50 miles west of here. Mr. Kiley, by his own admission, he has been was a challenging staff member and many of you may be surprised to hear that Mr. Kiley had a reputation of being a little bit of a troublemaker. <laughs> he would share many stories with the adults on how he put the camp truck in the ditch several times. I didn't know there was going to be a flyover for this. <laughs> That's good work. He would share many stories with the adults about he put the camp truck in the ditch several times. The staff would try to have late night hikes over to the Girl Scout camp across the lake or many other devious adventures a group of mid to late teeners would get, teenagers would get into, especially when they spend a couple months together working on a camp staff. The bottom line, he enjoyed to work at camp. Last fall or so, he and I were talking about his time at camp and we found out on Google Maps where the camp was and that some of the key elements of the camp still appeared to be there. We were even talking about taking a drive out to Pleasant, Pleasant Lake to uh, take a look in person to see what still existed. Whenever Mr. Kiley talked about his youth camp experience, his eyes would light up. One of my favorite stories that Mr. Kiley told me was one where Mr. Kiley took a homesick scout under his wing and gave him special attention they were looking for and maybe stood up for him for this scout in today's terms would be called bullying. He shared how this scout came back a few times and thanked him for being that support when he the scout needed it most. That was before almost all of us were born, born including me. So Mr. Kiley has been involved in scouting for a long time. When Mr. Kiley's only son Phil Kiley became a Boy Scout age he joined Boy Scout Troop 161. Mr. Kiley got reconnected with the scouts and looked forward to being involved in some way. After months of scouting though, Phil, his son, was unsure he wanted to attend camp. And I remember sitting down with Mr. Kiley and Phil and encouraging Phil to attend. I still wonder if things w didn't go well at that discussion if Phil or Tom would have continued in scouting. As a scout, Phil along with Mr. Kiley went on many campouts and activities including Lyle, National Jamboree, and Philmont. As you may or may not know, Mr. Kiley's youth days in scouting, he never made it to Eagle Scout, mostly because he was not a good swimmer, and it was a requirement to move through the ranks. <laughs> he is extremely proud to see his son, Phil, earn his Eagle Award with our troop. In what year, Phil, do you remember? 92. 92. <laughs> After Phil graduated out of scout as a youth, he went to college, but Mr. Kiley continued to stay around off and on because he enjoyed the program so much. Over the years in scouting, Mr. Kiley served in many positions in the troop, including treasurer, committee member, and most 
recently served as assistant scoutmaster, a role he truly enjoyed. Over the years, Mr. Kiley enjoyed to work with the younger scouts on the trail to first class. He would sit down and diligently work with knots, first aid, memorizing the scout oath and law, and many more tricks he had in his 1950s rucksack. <laughs> he liked to see the boys become men. Over the years, Mr. Kiley and I became good friends, and he would stop and visit me at work quite often, and we talked about all the needs of the younger scouts and worked on the plans for all. He had a passion for the program, which we as adults admired and the youth enjoyed. It wasn't until his final year did Mr. Kiley tell me the young scout story about, about the scout he mentored at camp as a staff member. But when I reflect on how I know Mr. Kiley, I can't think about how this dedication to the program over the years is because he saw what magic he gave to one scout and wanted to repeat it over and over many years later with his own, including his own son, Phil. I know as an adult, the paydays for, are few sometimes, and we do a lot of work to make them happen. But when a scout comes back and says to you how much scouting has helped them, or see a mature man, or a scout mature into a man, there is no pay in the world that can make the reward, make up for the reward. And I'm sure you would give Mr. Kiley, that's what gave Mr. Kiley his drive. If I could sum up the type of man that Mr. Kiley was, I think it's easy to say it is all done in 12 words we all know well. Trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. These are important in his personal life, his families, and those around him. He may have repeated them when he was 10 years old, but he lived them his, whole, his life until the day he died. Mr. Kiley truly was a good scout, and if he could have swam, would have been a great Eagle Scout. <laughs> it was a sad day when I heard that Mr. Kiley's passing. We as a troop, as a committee, and most of all a group of, <clears throat> of those who knew him as a friend, wanted something to relate it to, to the troop to remember him. The trailer seemed like a perfect fit. He had much influence on the scouts as he did the youth probably as much as he did on that scout he worked with back at camp, staff at camp. I don't know if he ever realized how much of an impact he had on the rest of us, but let me assure you, we will remember Kylie fondly. We will remember his detail to making sure the tents were square, his endless hours of dishwashing or standing by the cleaning station, to the time he spent with the scouts. As a adults, let us not forget his laughter and his many friendly verbal sparring matches we had with each other over the years. So today, as Mr. Kiley has left us on this earthly world, he would want us to remember the good times of scouting and to keep alive in all of us, whatever, whether we are 12-year-old scouts or 60-year-old scouts. He would want us to remember the scout oath and law as part of our daily lives, as he did. I hope that this trailer will be ever mindful of what Mr. Kiley felt was important in life, living the values of scouting at all times. At this time, I would ask the family to please come forward and uh, we'll pull off the tarp, <laughs> hopefully. I would pull it this way. Every mountain looks the same.
Okay, we want to get back around where we were. We'll finish this up. You can look at it some more if you like. of Camp Lyle. You may recognize the uh, waterfront right here. There was no pun in relationship to Mr. Kylie's swimming ability. <laughs> <laughs> you could have broke the rule once and gave the guy his feet. What the heck with the swimming? He, well. <laughs> he swam when he got older. Straight and the picture on this side is um, Mount Baldy. For those that went to Philmont this year, they probably stood on top of that mountain. Um, and then on the back, obviously, is Scout Law. If you didn't read this, I'd like to read this part right here. It says, no man st stands taller than a man who bends down to help a child become a responsible adult. Thank you, Mr. Kiley, for being that man. So, uh, graphi the graphics donated in memory of Mr. Tom Kiley. So, um, at this time, I'd like to introduce Father Kevin Mullins of St. Rita's, the new pastor of our sponsoring organization. organization. Father Ke Kevin comes to us to Racine from California, having just assumed the role of the new pastor at St. Rita's in August to offer a blessing uh, of our new trailer call, we're going to affectionately call the Kylie. <laughs> we would like to thank Father Kevin for bringing also some great weather to us from California, but just so you know, this isn't the winter they warned you about. <laughs> 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 It's a, it's a privilege to be here and to be able to um, pass this blessing upon not only the, the trailer and, and what it represents, but also upon everybody who's going to uh, participate in, in the scout program and make use of this. It's a wonderful thing to, uh, to be able to draw upon. And so there's two things you need to know. I don't swim. <laughs> and the flyover, I told him that Tim's talk was going to be pretty short. <laughs> apparently... <laughs> the captain had, he had, must have another event. <laughs> Anyhow, let us ask God's blessing. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. And so we see the love of God and the love of neighbor uh, accomplished in what scouting is all about. We give thanks for all of those who so generously give their time and give their commitment and give their support and give their leadership uh, to the younger members of our community and to help them, as Tim said earlier, to mature into responsible young men who are going to make great impact in the world around us today. So God, creator of heaven and earth, in the rich depth of your wisdom, you have empowered us to produce great and beautiful works. We have one here in memory of Tom Kiley. Grant, we pray, that those who use this vehicle may travel safely care for the safety of others. Although they travel for business or pleasure, let them always find Christ to be their companion on the journey. Christ who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God be upon you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Well, this concludes the uh, ceremony. Before we uh, finish up, I'd first of all like to thank Father Kevin for coming out. It's his day off today, and he even volunteered the to come out here and, and help us with this. Um, Wisconsin Screen Process on Six Mile is the one that put the uh, graphics together. These are actually uh, individual stickers, three on each side, plus the ones on the back. Um, Wisconsin Screen Process. Um, my big contact there would be Liz Drew, um, and she worked the people there. Uh, this, was, this was probably a much longer install process alone <laughs> than they expected. Um, but um, thanks to them uh, for cutting us a deal on some of it. I'd also like to thank the Kylie family for thinking about us in relationship to uh, memorials for Mr. Kylie. This was all paid out of memorials from his funeral um, in the memory of him, so we felt this was definitely an appropriate uh, use for the money. So I think this will be something that we will remember Mr. Kylie long for with, with all this on here. So um, other than that, I'd just like to thank everybody for coming. Those that are going on a camp out, Stick around, we're getting ready to leave. Those of you who aren't going on the camp out, stay warm. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Oh, I will. Can you put that on YouTube? Oh, I don't know. This is Tim. Mr. F. So. Okay.